Hey guys, so I'm here really quickly to talk to you guys a little bit about something. So I've been getting a lot of comments that, um, and the reason why I'm doing this video is so people can be educated, because most people don't know. So I've done a lot of research about twins, triplets, and sexes, and, and identical, and fraternal, and all that stuff. And I watch a lot of YouTube videos regarding babies and I try to get education and stuff like that. And it so happens to be that a lot of people are uneducated about the different things. So I've been getting a lot of comments about that a boy and a girl cannot, like a boy and a girl twin cannot be identical. Like it just can't, right? The fact is... It's actually very rare, but it can happen. What happens is, is that, and for those that don't know, for fraternal twins, fraternal twins are two separate eggs. Identical twins are with one egg that splits. And this has to happen within the first 14 days in order to have twins. I'm not saying that it couldn't happen later, but they do say that it would happen within the first 14 days or else you wouldn't end up having twins. So, with that knowledge, I just happened to come across that they actually can have identical boy and girl twins. But how does this happen? Well, what happens is, is when the egg breaks... It, I forget exactly what they said. It's either like an XX or YY or XY, whatever. But one of those X or Y chromosomes break off, but not with the other egg. So when it splits, it's actually it almost, I guess you could call it like a malfunction. And instead of it, they staying the same sex, one, one of these, like either an X or a Y or whatever, get... Um, it actually disappears or whatever, and it ends up turning one of them into a boy or a girl. So, you know, so if one is already a boy, and let's just say there were supposed to be two boys, what happens with identical boy and girl is when the girl, we'll just call it the girl because we said two boys. Well, instead of that girl being a boy, what happened was is when you split, um, I mean... Like I said, I don't know the exact number, but that Y or X or, you know, whatever dropped out. I know that an X is a girl and a Y is a boy, but they they think, I think they had three, three, um, like it was like either XXY or XX or XYY, I, I forget. But all I'm saying is one of these chromosomes disappear and it creates a boy and a girl. So, for those that don't know, that, yes, you can have an identical boy and an identical girl, but it's, it's very, very, very rare. It does not happen very often. And I'm sure if we did the research, there may only be one to maybe ten in the world. So, it was very rare, but it does happen. It can happen. It has happened. So, now you're educated. Now everybody knows that it can happen, but it's very rare. And it doesn't really happen very often. So, but go ahead and do the research. If you guys don't know something and want to know something, then research it. But I'll tell you one thing. On my YouTube channel, I will never put information out there that is false. So... If I show you a baby that's a boy and a girl identical twin, well, I would only get a boy and a girl identical twin if I knew that that could happen. So, um, you know, but I just happened to get the same kit twice, one in a boy and one in a girl. So, that's why they were twins. Um, that's all. So, um... That is it, and if anybody has any questions, feel free to ask, but again, I don't know everything.
But I do try to educate myself on a daily basis because learning new things is the power, you know, um, knowledge is power. So go ahead and study something that interests you. It doesn't have to be twins, but it can be something that interests you. Research it. Find out about it. You know, I have all these hospital supplies and I want to use them correctly. So I spend months researching it because I love it. It's knowledge. It's power. You know, the other day I went into a store and because I had the knowledge and it's, it just happened to be, it was kind of funny because, um, these people worked there and they didn't understand or know it. And this guy, you know, he tried to run this car or he asked them like, how, you know, how do you use it? They didn't even know what it was. And I said, well, that's a gift card and you're going to have to run that as credit. And the guy wanted to give me a job on the spot. <laughs> And I kind of told him that we're moving. I'm sorry. So uh, I just thought that was kind of funny. But like I said, knowledge is power. And I meant it. Like the guy was going to hire me on the spot. I guess it was the manager. And he was just like, wow, you're smart. Like you, you worked in retail. I'm like, yeah, I have. <laughs> so. And I've also noticed that customer service isn't as good today as maybe it was once before. But I think that customer service is very important. So, um, you know, I, I strive to make sure that people get good customer service. So, yeah. But anyways, little man is sleeping right here and we're going to get ready to go to bed. Thank you guys so much for watching. and I hope this taught some people. I felt like if I did a video, it'd be easier than commenting back to each person and um it makes it easier that way so i hope it was educational and thank you guys so much for watching and please subscribe thanks guys